So I've finally taken the plunge and have tried some hats from the official Boston Scally Company. I want to share my experiences with you here in this video. So welcome. My name's Brian. This is my Beards and Banjos YouTube channel, where we normally try to help you grow and maintain your best beard possible. But a couple months ago, we were talking about some good accessories for your beard and uh, a nice flat cap goes along with that. Been wearing them for several years. I did a video a couple months ago how uh, my thoughts and opinions were I really like the way the Boston official Boston Scally Company hats look but they were just a little bit too expensive for me, but I've been wanting them for four years. So I kind of found an easy way to try them out because they're actually now on Amazon. Um, so, and I'm an Amazon Prime member with the free returns and really easy policy on that. So what I was able to do, uh, and they don't, they only have like four different kind of hats and it's like just really bland gray color. So you can't really um, get their whole lineup or their special uh, edition hats or anything like that. But they had, uh, the Peaky, the Scrapper, the Dubliner, and the Original. And they're not always in stock and um, they're not in all the sizes. So your, your mileage may vary. But what I was able to do, because I measured my head and thought, all right, I need a small. So I got a small in the Peaky, which is an eight panel, uh, which usually runs a little bit big. And then I tried the Scrapper in a small and the Original in a small. Unfortunately, they sent me two Scrappers instead of an Original, which would be the Original is like a one- uh, uh, one panel. So I wanted to try like all different styles, a six panel, a one panel and an eight panel to see how they fit. Because based off of what I've seen that like it can be a little bit inconsistent across the board. Uh, so what I found was uh, everything I tried was too small. So it's like, OK, I know I need a medium large now. I know my size. I'm going to go ahead and try some from the official Boston Scally website. So I did. I bought three hats. Uh, I got uh, the bourbon, which is this one. I got the black rose uh, peaky style and and then a worker in medium large. That's the next size up. And I thought I would be good to go. And I got this one, which is the bourbon, and it fits perfectly. All right. And there's ways you can like shrink these or stretch them a little bit if you need to. Um, and then what I'm going to do is I'm actually in the process now of returning the other two because they were too big. Uh, so let me just show you real quick. So I really like this blue one. This one is the worker in the slate color, and it is really too big. You can see how much extra I have here. And it's not like a, the the, the same kind of cotton wool stuff, which would actually shrink down a little bit. What you can do is get a, like a, a garment bag and put a uh, put your hat in it and then put like a, a wet, damp towel in it in, in there with it and put it in the dryer uh, to kind of help with that. I'm not going to do it with this one because it's way too big. All right. Uh, and then I also have the uh, black rose here. And this is the, the peaky style, the eight panel. It looks okay on me, but I, it's a little bit too uh, much here on the sides for me. Uh, I think I like a little bit more streamlines. I usually keep my hair real short and my beard's not usually quite this long. So I'm going to exchange this and try a different style. Not exactly sure what I'm going to end up with, but I went through the website and uh, it was easy. I actually get in a smaller size. I'm going to try small in this one because I really like the way it looks. And then I'm returning the other one or exchanging it for a, a store credit. So they're going to give me store credit and I'm going to try another hat. And I'm going to share with you guys here in just a minute uh, how all of that worked and what I ended up with. So stay tuned. Well, I'm back. It's about three or four weeks later. Uh, I still have the bourbon hat here. Uh, and we went on a journey of exchanging and those kind of things. So I'll try to go over that, by the way, uh, big beard trim. If you couldn't tell, I made a video on that. If you're interested in that kind of thing, you can uh, check out my beard trim. Um, but I still have the bourbon. I exchanged the black rose and it's like, okay, I'm going to try another six panel like this one instead of the eight panel. Um, when you do an exchange of just the size from the Boston Cali Scally Company on the exact same color, the exact same hat, you can get that for free. Um, otherwise, they'll give you a store credit and you have to go through the process of buying again, which means you got to pay shipping again on any other hat that you buy. Um, so that kind of sucked. So I ended up getting one that I liked, even though I had to pay an extra seven, eight bucks, something like that. So this one is called the uh, Kenmore. It is uh, navy. And then it's got the little leatherette brown 
uh, bill on that. I always like the uh, profile pictures better than the front front on pictures. But anyway, uh, these were the two I ended up with. The worker, we went through a uh, uh, a lot of stuff here. So the worker that I showed you, the blue one, that was way too big. It's, uh, that was a medium, uh, medium large is the way the sizes go. So I said, okay, let's try small in this one. Tried the small, way too small. So it's like, okay, well, maybe there's something wrong with that medium large I had to start with. Let's try another one of those. It got it back and it was way too big. So because uh, I kept trying to exchange change the size so I wouldn't have to pay shipping so uh, plus I like the way the hat looked uh, anyway I ended up just saying just forget it and just uh, got, did a return on it back to my credit card because uh, I'm done with Boston Cascali at least uh, I hope to be done with them unless I just can't resist but that means I have to like unfollow some Facebook groups and that kind of stuff because uh, the, and they really want to uh, it can be really tempting to not miss out on some of those special limited edition hats. Anyway, so I exchanged the, the money back on my credit card. They docked. I don't remember if it's 10 percent or something like that. So, you know, I only got like thirty two dollars back or something on my credit card, which kind of sucked. So uh, the exchange policy for the size is good, but the sizing is kind of inconsistent, in my opinion. Um, otherwise, if you uh, try to exchange the money or you just want to exchange for a different style of hat, different color hat, any of that stuff, uh, it is uh, you have to pay a lot uh, of money extra that you weren't expecting. Uh, I do like the, the special limited edition hats. Uh, there was one called the Violet Rose that was nice and purple. There was the Bruin, which was for the uh, Boston Bruin um, hockey uh, team. So those looked really nice. I think those were eight panels, but uh, I'm going to go unfollow them on Facebook and Instagram and uh, leave some Facebook groups that have that stuff in it. You can pick them up and pick some stuff up used sometimes uh, if you're interested in that. People sell them. Uh, those limited edition uh, sell out really fast. So like people buy a bunch of them and go try to sell them on eBay and there's little pins that go in it. I'm not into all of that. I'm not turning this into a hobby. I have enough other hobbies uh, that probably nobody understands either. So uh, I'm not going to have collecting hats. I'm not going to be a collector. I do like them. Pick one up occasionally, but I'll probably try some different companies. So if you know of any other companies, put that in the comments. Uh, so we have sizing issues. Also, there's some quality control issues. This one's fine, uh, but on one of the ones I had, the, uh, the seam down the middle wasn't in the middle. It was kind of over here, and that kind of bothers some people. The other thing is that you know, they're talking about Boston Strong and American stuff, and the hats are designed in America. America, but they're made in China. So some people have an uh, issue with that. And then uh, obviously they sell out of stuff a lot. So it's hard to, to keep things in stock. So uh, a lot of issues there, but if it is your thing and you enjoy it, then you go ahead and do it. But uh, that's not going to be for me. I'm going to try some other stuff. But uh, let me know your Boston Scally experiences down in the comments. And if you've got some other hat brands that we might want to check out. And as always, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll see you soon.